Hey girls. Hey. Hi. What are you guys doing? Peeling corn. You mean shucking corn? Yeah. Yeah? How fun is that? We went and picked all this this morning, didn't we? Yeah. We just got back from picking it. All. We did, didn't we? All right, let's see it, Caitlin. What does it look like? Is it looking good? Mm-hmm. I see. Oh, yeah, very nice. Yeah. All right. Cassie, let's see yours. Oh, he's got a worm at the top of him, didn't he? That's okay. He didn't eat too much. Get him back a little bit so we can see what he looks like. Can you get it? Mm -hmm. All right. Looks pretty good. Um, the harvest is a little small. Uh, the poor corn got knocked over twice. So out of four rows, uh, this is what we got. And... Uh, Supposed to look like that. Yeah, that just didn't get uh, germinated, honey. Those little ones at the end. Do I put it so. in here? Yeah. I'll go get a bucket here in just a minute. Okay. Yeah, see. And it didn't doesn't look like it got it quite good there either, but anyway, we're harvesting it today and uh wasn't as um prolific as I would have liked, but at least we got some corn. Um, it did get blown over twice and um, stood back three up. Times and the storm. No, just twice this time. Three times it was the year before, honey. Oh. I so, anyway, and then we're throwing the shucks over to the, to cows. the cows. They'll come by here in a little bit. I think they're uh, over there by the pigs at the moment. They're making their rounds for today. They'll probably be over here in a minute and they'll clean all this up because they absolutely love it. So. Ew. Anyway, all right, we'll be back with you whenever we get further along in the process. Yeah, that is a big old corn, isn't it? Good job, Kyle. Oh, yeah, throw him over the fence. Cows can eat him. What about this one? That one looks pretty good. Mm. Kaylin, look how big this one is. It's heavy. All right, heavy. we'll see you guys here in a little bit. Okay, guys, so I've got a little helper here. She is uh, holding my camera for me. Um, the girls were asking how, how it is that I can shuck the corn... Um, as quickly as I can and uh, I just thought that maybe you guys would like to see how I do that if you've never shut corn before um, I've done this for a very long time so I've learned a few uh, things for speed uh, so it doesn't take as long but uh, anyway so here you go what I do is I just grab the top split it and then whoop, Cassie make sure you can see it okay pull down one side other side break the bottom Pretty easy. And this guy didn't have a worm in him, so... Um, okay guys, so I've got them all shucked and ready to go. And next uh, I am going to be cutting off the ends where the earworms have got a hold of them. And uh, that's something that just happens with your corn. Um, I've heard that you can put a little bit of mineral oil on the tip whenever the silk is just starting. Um, I don't have time and they really, I mean, they don't eat much and you got the rest that's still good. So I just cut the ends off. Right. Um, I'm just going to do this here for you. And I've got my giant knife. Um, always keep your hands back on this part. <laughs> so I just set it there and whack them all. That goes to the pigs, down in the slot bucket, and this is ready to be, oh, can I get that focus for you? Ready to be desilked. So, all right, I'll be back with you for the next step. Alright guys, so now I'm at the desilking uh, process here, and um, 
after I've got all these, the, the bad ends cut off and everything like that, um, a lot of them I have noticed are small like this. Um, you get a, a little bit of corn off of that. Um, if they hadn't been blown down twice at a, you know, kind of a critical stage when it was tasseling, they should all have been this size. Um, and just this, this pretty. Um, and also, we had a few, like this guy here. See how he's missing a lot of kernels? This is what I was most worried about, was all of them ending up like this. Um, this is what happens when they don't germinate properly. Um, and we have a lot of kernels that were like this. A lot of the, ca the cows got a lot of these kernels, or excuse me, a lot of these ears because the whole thing was just spotty like this. This one was okay because he got, you know, the back of him got germinated pretty good. It's just the one spot here on him. So that's what I was mainly worried about whenever they got blown over. But anyway, so to desilk, I just I have a, a desilking brush, and um, you can use any kind of brush um, that you have that you you know use for vegetables and stuff. Or you can just take it and run it underneath the sink and rub it off with your hands. Uh, my grandma got me this, and this is something new for this year, and I really, really have been liking it quite a bit. Um, you just run it through a couple of times, and it gets quite a bit of silk off. And it actually speeds up the process, because this is the part that takes the most time. So, this guy's got a bad kernel, i got to watch out for him. But anyway, it does a really, really nice job. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this desilked, and I'll be back with you uh, whenever I get that done. All right, so I am blanching my corn now. And uh, what I do is I let the water get to a full rolling boil and then I'll put the corn in and I will let it stay in the water for three minutes. Um, once the three minutes is up, I will take it out of the water and I have cold water in my sink uh, ready to go. And I will put it in that cold water and let it set for a few minutes so that way the blanching process stops. Um, because we're not looking to cook it, we're just looking to blanch it. Um, and then after that, I will be cutting it off the cob. So I will be back with you whenever I am to that next step. Alright guys, so I'm at the point where I am cutting the kernels off of the cob now. And um, what I do is I just have me a bowl and I set just a regular old cup in there and go from there. I just use a, a sharp knife and start cutting off the uh, kernels. And uh, there you go. It's pretty simple. Um, there is a device that, um, and I don't remember the name of it, but uh, Pampered Chef makes it. And it actually removes the kernels for you. Um, it's just a little handheld tool. And I really, really like it. I've used them before. Uh, that's something that's on my, my wish list to get eventually. Um, but uh, they are also a very handy tool if you wanted to get some of those. They, they cut your time of cutting the corn off of the cob almost in half. It's, it's really amazing how they work. But anyway... So uh, I just cut it all off, and uh, it's okay if it, if it stays in the strips. Um, if you put it on the dehydrator tray like that, it dehydrates just fine. 
You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to sit there and break them all apart. It, it just really doesn't matter. So, um, let's see here. I put my dehydrator on 120 to 125 degrees. Um, and usually it takes about 12 hours or so to finish uh, up the corn. And yeah, so I am almost done. And I think that's all I had for you. Let me think. Oh, yes, I wanted to show you what it looks like in the jar here real quick. Um, what it looks like after it's dehydrated. Let me go grab that real fast. So that is what it's going to look like after it's dehydrated. As you can see, once it's dehydrated, those, those clumps will just break right up. Um, I use this for soups uh, mainly, but you can also put it in boiling water and it'll plump right back up for you. Um, and it tastes really good that way too. So um, this is the jar that I keep on my counter and I use it for cooking and, and whatnot. So anyway, there you go. That's what it's gonna look like when it's all dehydrated. Um, and whenever I put it on the trays, I just put it in a nice um, kind of thin layer. Um, this particular batch, I'm not going to have enough to cover my, or excuse me, to enough to use all my trays, so I'll probably put something else in there. Um, I have some zucchinis that need to be worked up, so I'll probably put those on uh, on there, or in, in the bottom trays as well, just to fill up the dehydrator. Um, I don't really like to um, leave it, uh, leave trays empty whenever I'm running it, so... Uh, looks like I only have about a three quarters of a tray. I have to cut up some more, but anyway, so kind of like a little layer like that, and um, 125, 120, 125 for 12 hours. There you go. I hope this video was helpful for you guys, and uh, you have a good day. Take care.